Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm Father Steve Sellers and thank you so much for tuning in today to this brief daily message of hope. And my prayer for you today is that you are finding hope in your world. There is great reason and great reasons to be optimistic about what the future holds because we know the one who holds the future in his hands and it is the Lord who loves us. So I hope your day is going well and that you're finding uh, good things in your life today. And I've got a great story to begin with today about how powerful songs like that one that I just played are. This was an old story written in the middle of the 19th century called, I Love to Tell the Story. It was written by Catherine Hankey, uh, who was a, an Anglican, a member of the Church of England, uh, and became a missionary into South Africa uh, during her life. And she wrote uh, dozens of old spirituals that, uh, uh, well, when she wrote them, they weren't old, but they are now to us but they were very powerful in the middle of the 19th century and they're still powerful today. This one I wrote, I love to tell the story, uh, says I love to tell the story of unseen things above, of Jesus and his glory, of Jesus and his love. I love to tell the story because I know it is true. It satisfies my longings as nothing else can do. I love to tell the story and to sing the story. A dear friend of mine in the ministry about uh, 15 years ago uh, had a very bad stroke uh, and it paralyzed him to the point where he couldn't really talk anymore. Uh, and so that was uh, really going to hinder any sort of uh, uh, preaching or teaching ministry that he had. He just couldn't talk. And so he was inspired by uh, reading through the Psalms. And now when you read the Psalms, you know that most of them are songs. Uh, and they talk about singing to the Lord and raising voices to the Lord. And so my friend uh, started, uh, he, he uh, had a, a whole stockpile of CDs and cassette tapes of old spirituals from the, the 19th century, even earlier from the early 20th centuries, just like I love to tell the story. And what my friend did is that he put those tapes on and began to sing with them, sing loudly, he did this uh, while he was home alone, for the most part, uh, and he said it was very painful at first, uh, and to, he struggled uh, you know, to, to make the words come out right as he sang lustily and heartily uh, to the Lord, singing the great hymns of praise. And he did it for a series of months, and he began to be able to speak. And he truly sang his way uh, in overcoming the paralysis of his speech, lifting his voice to the Lord in songs of praise, restored his speech to him. And there's great power in that. Uh, there's great power in singing. You know, we have a world right now, and I just want to transition briefly to there are so many multiple types of mental and spiritual and physical illnesses going on today because of the stress and the stress levels that have built up in our lives. And it leaves people wanting to isolate, uh, even though we are, are already isolating and have done so for the last nine months or so uh, here on this first day of December. We know it's been a long time since our lives have been anything close to normal. And it's left some people with a multitude of, uh, of physical and mental and emotional and spiritual uh, aches and pains. And so what do we do about that? Well, first of all, I want to share with you uh, a little story I read um, uh, from a, an acupuncture specialist who was talking about we live in a world where we want a magic bullet. One thing that will solve everything for us, just one more pill, you know, one more special diet, you know, one more exercise program that we can do quickly and solve all our problems. Well, usually there's no one magic bullet for anything in our world. Uh, it takes a combination of factors. Uh, this uh, medical specialist was saying that the causes of poor health uh, in our lives today are usually not just from one cause. Um, you know, we may have a, a fever or a sickness or an infection and, 
and we get th that treated. But usually when we have mysterious aches and pains and uh, strange headaches in the middle of the night, uh, cramping in our bodies, there are multiple causes to that. Uh, and uh, she lists several of them. Improper diet, uh, eating the wrong types of food for our body, overeating, uh, indulgence, uh, ser strong emotions, stress, overwork, not enough rest, not enough exercise, physical trauma, and chronic dehydration. There are a multitude of things that can cause us aches and pains on every level of our bodies. Uh, and generally, you know, I had a, a, a dear friend a long time ago in seminary, one of my professors who said, uh, there are three basic causes to all the dis-ease, dis-ease, disease in the world. Uh, the three causes are malnutrition, eating the wrong types of food in the wrong quantities at the wrong times for the wrong purposes, malnutrition, dehydration, which includes lack of access to safe drinking water. Uh, most of us walk around chronically dehydrated all the, all the time anyway. Malnutrition, dehydration, and stress. Those are the three things that gang up on us to, to cause great problems. Or even better, uh, I read one of the sites, I don't recall right now who it is, who said the problems in the world are caused by the weight of the spirit bearing down on our bodies. When our spirits are troubled, spirits are troubled nothing is in order for our lives. So that just leads me, and I appreciate the medical professionals who are looking at things like acupuncture, um, homeopathic things. I appreciate all the work they're doing on that. But here's my recommendation. If you're having mysterious aches and pains in body, mind, emotions, spirit, try this. Start with your daily quiet time in prayer before the Lord. Pray, meditate, and sing those great hymns of praise. Let them just flow over you and know that there's great power in that. They can cure a multitude of diseases in our body. And just know that the Lord is with you today to help you, no matter where you are, what you're doing. Ask him for help. He's right there. And God willing, I'll be right here again tomorrow. And I hope to see you then. God bless you.